Chelsea told the only downside of Romelu Lukaku's exit as flop seeks Inter move. Romelu Lukaku is running away, but Chelsea must buy a world-class striker to replace him. He is taking the easy option going back to Inter Milan. He could have stayed and said. I'll show you. But this league is too hard for some players. They decide they would rather earn their money playing in a league where it's an absolute doddle. Lukaku will not be playing against top drawer center halves at bottom of the table teams in Italy will he? Burnley got relegated even though they had Ben Mee and James Tarkowski. Two quality defenders most teams would take. Newcastle had Dan Byrne. Read more. Man United and Chelsea in pole position for Mathages de Ligt after explosive Juventus row that just shows you how hard it is for centre forwards in the Premier League. You're playing against top drawer defenders every week. You look at Italy, I can't see Venezia or Genoa who were both relegated from Serie A, having a top drawer centre half playing for them. Only people with no football knowledge will complain if he scores 20 goals in Italy and moan that he should still be at Chelsea. No. It's the Italian league. Wake up. People with football knowledge will realize there's a massive, massive difference. Fair play to Thomas Tuchel. He has said. This has not worked. It's not going to work. Let's get rid. And I quite like that because it's ruthless. Other clubs stick by players and try to make it work when you can see it just won't, and I find this quite refreshing in a way. It's a big show of faith in Tuchel writing off all that money and letting Lukaku go on loan to Inter but it's intelligent because he's an elite manager and you have to take advantage of that. There aren't many elite managers about. If you have one and he's telling you to do something, you should do it. So credit to the new owners for listening. Will Chelsea miss Lukaku next season? Let us know in the comments section below the only problem comes if Lukaku somehow wins the Champions League with Inter Milan. Then there's a problem. I wouldn't like to be touchled then because questions will be asked. But is that going to happen? Absolutely not. I would call it a good gamble. Out of sight out of mind. That's where Lukaku will be in Italy. The thing is, Chelsea bought him to be a focal point and to be that clinical goalscorer who would win them tight games. And they still need that. Kai Havertz is a number 10 for me. Not a center forward. I look at him as a Dennis Bergkamp kind of he player. He doesn't need the ball with his back to goal. He's too good for that. He needs the ball facing towards goal and he will make things happen. So Chelsea need to sign a striker, or it's third again for them. If they sign a top-quality striker to replace Lukaku I think they are bang up there with Manchester City and Liverpool. Without one, they are just a bit short. Sadio Mane will be a massive massive loss to Liverpool. Huge. He was a match winner. A big-time player. I don't think people realize. He doesn't get the fourth and fifth goals in a 6-0 win. He scores massive goals in big games. Lots of players score 20 goals a season, but when you put them in perspective they aren't big goals because they haven't won you a point. Main's goals win you points. And for the money they are getting I find it really surprising. He's not moving up either going to Bayern Munich is he? He's moving to a league that nobody watches unless they make a real effort to put themselves out. It will suit him because he will very quickly score 100 goals there. But it shocks me, they are letting him go so cheaply. I think he will be sorely missed because he was the one who turned up in the big moments, scoring the big goals. It's going to be harder to win the title without him. Darwin Nunez will have to hit the ground running, but there are no guarantees he adapts so quickly. Across Stanley Park I think Harry Winks will be a good player for Everton, after being a bit of scapegoat at Tottenham. I think he even has a sneaky chance of gatecrashing England's World Cup squad if he has an unbelievable start to the season. I think he is a good footballer who never got the rub of the green at Spurs. When Jose Mourinho was there, every time they lost, Winks would get benched. If Everton actually spend money on him, rather than taking him on loan it will show the manager really wants him and the club really values him. You get more chances to play when a club buys you than you would if you were on loan. I think that's a good move for him. I think he will come into his own. He is a better player than people think. He could still play for England. We don't have anyone who can keep the ball in midfield. That's why he still has a chance of going to the World Cup for me. This kid keeps it simple and keeps possession and keeps it ticking over. We will need that in Qatar. I think he was trying too hard at Spurs. Trying to do something special to justify his place. But he's at his best when he keeps it simple and gets you control in midfield. Read next.